Hello and welcome to another episode of Reloaded Server. We are on the server itself and we have done a very, very big, big dig. As you probably remember from our, one of our previous episodes, we've got ourselves the full oval now complete. Now, it did take about, what, 8 to 10 hours of just digging. I did try putting in a, what do we call it, a TNT deeper, but that didn't really work. So, I resorted to just doing it by hand, and I think it looks pretty good. So, we're going to be working on this probably for quite a while. We still need to dig out the, between here and here in a big slope, as well as actually make it look nice. But for the time being, we do have our first... Well, it's one of the first few steps to making this place look good. Now, you might notice my voice sounds probably a little bit hoarse. I do have a bit of a cold at the moment that isn't helping things, but I'm still here making the video for you guys, so hopefully you enjoy it. Now, over the last couple of weeks, I've had to spend a fair bit of money or a fair bit of diamonds to get the stuff. I had to get myself a beacon, which would have helped, or two beacons, which helped mine all that stuff out. And I got myself a second pickaxe because I actually lost one and then found it again. So that wasn't helpful. But as you can see, we're now down to five blocks of diamonds and four diamonds, which is uh, 34 diamonds. So not many indeed. So that is something we're going to have to fix. And we do have the shop idea ready for it which we explained last episode i think so let's just hop into the shopping district and we'll see what we can do we'll start building it just looking at all these builds kind of puts the idea i had for my shop a little bit to shame because some of these shops are really really good designs i think well i think this shulker one which is going to be open very soon once we get the shulkers we've got this mushroom shop we've got a We've got this uh, banner shop, no, not that, that's not a banner shop, this is a potion shop, actually. We've got golden carrots, uh, tridents, and so on and so forth. There's so many different kinds of shops, and of course, I think there's multiples of each one, which actually brings us to our own shop. Now, I did buy my plot about a week or so ago, as I'm recording this, or maybe nearly, it's new to, nearly two weeks ago, and it turns out that in that time that I've been doing that I think someone else has actually taken or when I say taken uh, borrowed my shop idea which is of course all fine everyone can have multiple or well, two up to two shops and there can be competition but I was hoping to do a mud shop and it turns out I think Winlocks has done a mud shop as well so it's 32 this might affect my pricing but 32 uh, for a diamond, I should, or, or one diamond for 32, and looking at that, unless they place that exactly like that, I reckon that someone has actually, someone has actually bought the mud blocks, which is slightly encouraging. So if we are able to either undercut wind blocks slightly, or at least break even, we may be able to get some diamonds back, which is definitely what we need. Now, for a second shop idea, I don't really what know what I would want to do. Shulkers would be a good idea, but I think with the when when the end is starting to open, which is about four o'clock AM my time, the end might be uh, let us say almost fully raided. When I say fully raided, far a lot further out than I'd be willing to go. So we may need to skip out on that idea for the time being. But uh, we've got this plot over here which we bought last week and we have a shop idea. So so, uh, we need to figure out how we're going to build the shop. Now, I was playing around in creative mode on this very flat world and came up with this design. I'm not entirely happy with it. I mean, it's very, as you can see, very plain. I think it needs a little bit more color, if I'm honest. So, maybe if I try changing, I know mangrove is going to be quite expensive, but if I try changing those to another color, uh, that actually, that does make it pop a little bit more. I think I need a little bit more greenery as well. So what's green around here? Grass, shulker boxes, we don't have that. Wool, there, I don't know. So I do need more color. Copper might do, but I don't know. Again, I don't need have a lot of cash on me to be able to spend on it on other things. Prismarine is rather expensive, I think. Actually, I don't even know if someone's selling Prismarine. But overall, I think we may just have to go with the early design and then change it up as time goes on to be able to make it look better. But it's just a rather simple hut at the moment and 
I don't know if I can afford any to build any better at the moment, at least as far as cash goes. So we shall have to see. And of course, I need to. I am limited by how many, how much of this I actually have, how much mud I have, because I do want to make the walls out of mud, but I am limited by mud, and that's something we're going to fix in the near future with a mud farm. So I think let's go get on with this design and see if we can improve it uh, in the server itself. While I'm building that thing, and I'm actually in the middle of the time up to the moment, we can see that someone's managed to uh, put themselves into a very AFK box with probably one of the most expensive blocks in the game. Probably not the most expensive, but one of the most expensive. It's just interesting to see what people do. I tend to just dig myself into the ground, but I guess, what's his name, Nick Dustick has decided to go into a diamond block. And with, of course, a couple of signs, we've now fixed this diamond block. I think that should work perfectly, and hopefully he doesn't starve too much, and the groundskeepers can keep this guy alive. <laughs> and there we go. We've got ourselves a somewhat nice-looking shop. It could be a lot better. It's definitely not the same monochrome that it used to be with the, just the jungle light brown and the brown here and the wood up there as well. So I think it looks slightly better than it used to be, but at some point we're definitely going to have to improve this shop. So, and it looks like I'm actually missing a slab up there. So I'm gonna have to quickly correct that. But we have gone with the mud root, the mud floor, as well as just a flat roof here, just to make it look a little bit better. The double chest here and the ender chest there. So now all we've got to do is actually fill the shop. And for that, we're gonna need both mud, which we can produce pretty easily, as well as as well as wheat, which we can't produce so quickly. So that's something we're going to have to think about. And let me just quickly get this done, I think. Now I hop back into creative mode in this server, in this in this test world once again, just to test out a redstone contraption. Now this isn't my design, I should say, but this is a design by a person named as, if I can find it, his name is Jax the Legend, and I'll pro hopefully remember to leave a link to his channel and the video, especially that I got this from. But what it is is basically a mud generator. So all we need to do here is just stand here and dispense the dirt. So uh, it is probably not the quickest thing in the world, and I may need to rig up something where it will dispense dirt onto me as well, so I can just stand here and click away. But overall, I think I'm pretty happy with this design. Now the next bit he didn't, which I haven't shown yet, is the ability to, where is it? I just need to do a piston and a redstone, la red redstone torch as well as a redstone repeater and some redstone dust. So the last thing I need to do is be able to push this thing uh, either up or to the side. So I'm thinking it's just like this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's as far as it's gonna go. Uh, we just need a torch here, a redstone dust here, here and coming across to these things, I think will work. Let's see, um, repeater, I think a repeater and redstone dust should work perfectly. This is just a temporary measure, of course, while I actually get this thing going, but, oh, there's some water missing. Anyway, so 
Well, all we need to do now is just, is just put the dirt, come on, like so. And in theory, it should have pushed that all the way up. In theory, that didn't quite work. So anyway, but the basic idea is that this is going to get pushed up or pushed across and then it'll get pushed upwards and I can mine it at my leisure. So I think that's going to work quite well. We just need to get a whole lot of pistons as well as all the other resources we need and figure out a good place to build it in the server. Right, after those time lapses, I had a couple of little bits where I had to fix up the redstone. Apparently, it does not matter where some of these redstone bits are. Well, obviously, because redstone is a little finicky thing. But yes, I needed to have uh, the redstone torch on this block. It couldn't be on any of the other ones because that would activate this twice and send water bottles spilling out. It took me about half an hour trying to figure that out. But now it is all done and we can get this thing going so I'm probably gonna leave this for the time being as you can see I've also built a cage made out of wood so that when this thing is completely full I can go through with my shovel and completely demolish it all but for the time being I think I'm gonna leave that because we do need to work on the second part of making mud packed mud which is a wheat farm now for the time being I'm probably just gonna do a a temporary one out here just full of seeds and not bother with the villager but that's something we're going to work on probably off camera. And a little while later, we've got ourselves a rather large wheat farm. We've got four lots of water in there, which makes this one, I think it's 18 by 18, which if my math is correct, which I can't quite calculate at the moment, it's quite a lot of wheat growing at once. We are eventually gonna move this into a skyscraper of sorts. So probably right next to this one over here. So we've got easy access between the two. So I probably will build it probably over here so I can access the two really easily and this will be the mud mud making area of my factory so right now I'm just collecting up some wheat I just want to make, get another 10 there we go did I put that one back yes so we've got 10 at the moment and we just need to let's see produce another 10 or so more packed mud and we've got ourselves what is it six stacks of packed mud. it's not a lot and I think whoever it is, who uh, Winlocks, who has the other wheat uh, mad farm, packed mad farm, is going to have a lot more than we do. But this is going to be a start. So what I'm going to do is head over to the shopping district, head in to, uh, what, do, uh, what are we going to say? We want to put it in to our shop and we're going to be able to finish our episode there. Uh, let's just head over to the shopping district now. And there we go, we've got ourselves, what is it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, so that's 6 stacks of packed mud, and I'm selling at 32 for 1 diamond, which I think is the same price as over at the other shop. Now at the moment I'm not going to sell packed uh, mud bricks, because they're going to be the same thing anyway, you just need to go in a, like that kind of pattern to get mud bricks anyway, so I may or may not sell those things, because they're pretty much the same thing anyway, and, and it's not going to cost me anything to make it, so we'll see. Now I do want to see if I can sell mud itself and I just need to uh, check it with the admins of this server to see if I can do that. But before I sign off I just wanted to have a look at some of the other things that have popped up and it turns out that this giant uh, robot thing I guess has popped up in the last little while and it is, well it would cost a lot of money to get that much amount of land 
And the second thing that has popped up is our recently completed design for the shopping district portal, which I actually forget who designed this one, but it is actually a very nice looking one made out of all kinds of shulker stuff, or skulk stuff I should say, and is actually slightly annoying because I actually spawned, if we can come up, he actually spawned in one of these ledges, so I had to jump down. So, not the best start when I came in, but it is still a brilliant design overall. So, kudos to everyone who, who ever made this, or and whoever designed this, I should say, because it looks brilliant. And just as my final little bit, we turned out I can sell mud. So, and I think this is the only shop in the shopping district that currently sells mud. So, we've got 64 for a diamond, and we've got an almost a full double chest of mud, which actually has completely exhausted my mud supplies, or almost completely exhausted my mud supply. So, I'm going to have to go AF, well, AFK cooking and set that all up for another run of mud. So, hopefully, people do buy, uh, but hopefully not too much, because I am going to have to sell that. I have to, I'm going to have to restock this shop rather often. So, people, hopefully you can buy at Ma Muddy Magic, Magpie's Money Spending Magical Mansion. And yes, I just didn't, I didn't come up with that on the spot. So, let us finish off today's episode. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope we'll see you in the next one, where hopefully we'll have made some diamonds, We'll be, not spend so many diamonds, and we'll have, get started on yet another little factory. See you soon. Bye!